Welcome back, everybody. And guess what week it is? Come on, come on. Somebody guess. Come on. It's National Hurricane Preparedness Week 2020. So, on this episode of uh, National Hurricane Season 2020, what we're going to talk about is um, everybody's asked me a few questions where I get some of my information and stuff from and some of the websites. So, I'm going to tell you uh, where these websites are. And before we get going on that, what I want to do is I have done a extensive hurricane season uh, 2020 series uh, there's 24 videos loaded in that series so if there is anything in that series go through pick and choose whichever one may pertain to you that might help you be prepared to save your family's life watch it give it a like subscribe and share it with your friends so let's get started the first website that I use, because everybody's asked me when I talk about buoys, is how I know this. All right, so the first website is called eldoradoweather.com slash buoy, okay? Now you can go in there and uh, you can look all around and you can see, you know, all the different buoys and everything else and it breaks it right down for you from, um, from your wind speed, your wind gust, your barometer, um, the air temperature and the water temperature and it's a really cool site and it's in a uh, live action so what you're seeing is what's being reported back and forth between the transponders and uh, the buoys back and forth uh, so it's a really cool feature so that's a good one now we're gonna move on over the other one is called water temperature dot net so you go in there then you have to choose wherever you are you know uh, this is like a beach forecast. So anybody that lives along the beaches or beach areas and stuff, you just choose your region or your your beach or whatever, and there it is. Now, something that's really cool that I wanted to just tell you guys real quick, uh, mine's for Cocoa Beach, and the current water temperature is 73.4 degrees, which is pretty cool. You know, and they even put this little disclaimer at the bottom and says, this temperature is suitable for swimming. Woohoo! <clears throat> kind of hard to swim with a mask and everything on, isn't it? Oh, yeah, that's right. So, anyways, the, 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 the cool thing that I noticed, I shouldn't say it's cool, but, you know, I mean, it's uh, kind of amazing. Um, right up below that, they always give you a uh, seven-day forecast for your beach. Now, now until May 9th, our temperature is supposed to stay right about 73.4 degrees. Now, on May 10th, our temperature takes a huge jump from 73.4 to 75.2. So that's almost a two degree temperature in one day is what they're forecasting. So, you know, that's the scary part. You know, you've already got parts of the Gulf that are 85, you know, 88 degrees um, off the Atlantic coast. You know, it's like 77, 78 degrees. So the water's gonna be heating up. And the next thing you know, once we get to 80 degrees, you know, it's game on and boom, we can get anything that we get this year. And everybody's talking that it's going to be even worse. Uh, hopefully they're wrong, but you know, when everybody starts talking that way, it kind of makes you wonder what they know and we don't because you know how we get news. But anyways, so that's that one. Um, the last website that I really want to talk to you about is just your standard NOAA weather site, uh, your National Hurricane Center. Um, you can get a lot of great information on there, especially when there's a hurricane coming and stuff. Uh, they do have their interactive map and everything, so if there was a storm right now, there's nothing on it. But if there was a storm, it'd be on there and it'd have the cone and, you know, all that kind of stuff. Now, one thing to remember, if you do go to that site, you got to scroll past that to get all the information that you may want. Um, they may tell you what directions it's going to be going, uh, your wind speeds, and um, how fast the storm's traveling. Uh, when they think it may make landfall, how far it is off the east coast of Florida or east coast of the United States or if it's going to go in the Gulf or, you know, and all that kind of stuff will be down underneath that. So you just want to pay attention to that. 
Now, let's move over and talk about a couple of apps real quick. There is one app out, and it's called Survival Manual, and it's green. It's got this little green book on it. It is the best app that you can download. If you're going to download any app, download that one. That is a U.S. military field manual that has been broken down into layman terms for us people, and it's called a wiki now, W-I-K-I, and it is just an incredible app. Um, another app that you may want to look at is a U.S. Topo Maps um, and First Aid Guides. Now, both those you can download for regular apps, and you can also download for offline apps. So, say you can't connect and um, you can't get through, you can't get out, you have no Wi-Fi, no, no nothing, um, you can still utilize those maps because they're downloaded on your phone. Um, another thing you want to really look for is a good GPS um, app. Now a lot of people already use, you know, your, your standard right in your phone, you know, you know, WASI and all those different types of apps and everything. But a good GPS, mine is GPS Tools. It's a blue dial uh, with the north, south, east, and west. And that one is loaded with so much information and, and it gives you so much. It is just, it is a quite amazing app. I love it. Uh, there's one more I want to talk about real quick and that's called Wind Map. And that one there gives, shows you all the wind speeds and the wind currents over the whole globe. These are all free apps that I'm talking to you about. And you can zoom in, you can check out and see what the wind speeds. If you tap the screen, it, it breaks down information for you. You can go and watch, look over the uh, you know, African coast right now. I mean, there ain't nothing going on the African coast. It's, it's dead as a doorknob. There ain't nothing, nothing moving over there, which is a good thing. And, you know, but you can look anywhere you want in the world. I mean, it's a really cool app. So I would suggest that everybody just take this time. Make sure that you have a plan in place. Make sure that you know what your plan is. Go through all your stock. Make sure that you're, you're checking off, you know, how, what kind of batteries you need, what, what type of food you need to have, water, and everything else, and be prepared for this hurricane season. And once again, go back and watch my video series on hurricane season 2020, the series. There's 24 videos in there, and there's bound to cover any type of information that you may have, any questions or anything. Please leave comments, and I will get back to you. So until next time, my name is Charles, Survival Preparedness for Beginners, and we'll catch you all on the flip side.